what up y'all welcome back to the channel today as promised we are going to do some vlogging the life of a tanker man i'm talking fast because time is money in this business so we're gonna get straight into it i'm already at my first stop of the day i have four loads today we're gonna vlog it we're gonna see what it's like to go get a reading to actually fill up tanks we're gonna talk about the time it takes and then we're gonna just talk about the road trips and everything we got going on so let's go ahead and do it it's it is currently 7 38 i was up at 4 30 i was back at the yard i didn't show you guys that because i'm not sure if my employer is okay with that i'm only going to show you what i can i cannot show you loading the rack because there is no phones or recording allowed at the loading racks so we'll just show you what i can um i started at 7 30 i'm sorry i started at 4 30 this morning um i was at the rack by five i was out by six and now it is 7 38 i went from albuquerque new mexico to Espanola, about a two hour trip so we can go ahead and fill up we're gonna go get a reading i got my handy gopro right here and then we're gonna um just do some vlogging man let's take a trip morning did it be the reading Uh, it's full unleaded. Yes, yeah. ma'am. I, <laughs> I know we. They told me this morning you was almost out, so I got you. Thank Appreciate you. it. All right. So first things first, we already got our Vita reading. We'll talk about that later in the video. Go put out our fire extinguisher. Set up our cones. We're gonna measure it. Let's get it. So we got our vapor and then we got our fuel. All right, so we got the caps off. We're gonna go ahead and measure it and make sure that the readings match. All right, this truck is not really the ideal truck that I normally use. It doesn't have all the necessary tools that I'm used to using, but we're gonna make it work. All right. What I like to do is measure first. To make sure before I even finish hooking it up that my load will fit and we are at 11 11 i don't know if you guys can see that we are at 11 inches they don't have much so now i'm gonna take out my vita reading that i just got from the clerk and i'm gonna make sure regular she measured at 14.54. That's not too bad off. We're good to go. We're also gonna look at the 90% eulage is 16347. 16347, which means they have a lot that they can fit in there and I only bought 8600. So we are good to go. So let's go ahead and finish that up. And so let's go on a step-by-step -step process of what you just saw me do. All right, first thing I did was lay out my safety cones and my fire extinguisher on the side. Um, then the next thing you saw me do, well, the very first thing before, after I laid my safety cones were you saw me measure the fuel tank to make sure that it matches the amount on the Vita route. Uh, let me see the Vita reading to make sure, to make sure that there's enough fuel, that the fuel can fit in the actual tank itself. All right, so if we are looking at the Vita reading, I don't know if you guys, let me see if I can focus on it. Oh, it's focusing, hold on. There we go. So if you see where it says 90% eulage, that means that they have a available space of 1,647 1, gallons available. I only brought 8,600, so that's how I knew it was good to go right and then the next thing you did after you saw me measure with that stick is compare the inches of the reading on this piece of paper right here versus uh when i read on the stick it's close enough for comfort so i know we're good to go the first thing i do is hook up this vapor hose to my truck 
because that vapor hose is what's going to contain the vapors in the air uh, you don't want people breathing that I don't want to breathe that and the next thing you do you hook up your actual fuel hose to the tank first because you don't want to prevent a spill and then you hook it up to your tank and then we come here and we open up these release valves to open up the actual tanks themselves so once I pull that handle and I know everything's fit then I go ahead and release open and start filling the tanks all right so that's pretty much it when you get here um, I'm gonna let it go this takes about 30 minutes to go through each tank and I'm gonna do paperwork I don't want to go through the paperwork with you guys because every company is different and I'm not 100% sure if my company will allow that so next time you come back you will see you will see me pretty much packing up and getting ready to go do this uh, paperwork I'll talk to you a little bit so we just got done with that first load I am about what the hell oh, I am about to go ahead and head back to Albuquerque about a two-hour drive and uh, I didn't take you guys in there because of the simple fact that I didn't want to be able to view the paperwork because again I'm protecting my money and my family um but we are all done with the first load it's two hour drive back it is 8 37 the day started about 4 15 4 30 ish um i've been up since 3 30 we're gonna try to get these last two done load these last two loads done by uh 3 p.m see if we can get off a little early today so let's get on this road all right so i lied well i didn't lie i thought we was going straight back to albuquerque but something told me to check my paper. You always check your paperwork and it's actually coming out of Holly, which is in Majority, um, Majority, New Mexico. So I'm here now, I already loaded. We cannot record in the rack, so I didn't record. So now we headed to Costco. Hopefully they're okay with me recording. If they are, we'll go ahead and go through that process. If not, I'll tell you about it when I'm done. All right, Costco would not let me record. So it is now 156. We're on our last load at a Murphy. So we're gonna go in there. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get the video reading. I'm gonna show you the whole process. The difference is this time is we have premium and unleaded, so that's a different way to drop the load. So drop the load. Anyway, it's a different way, a different process to drop that load. So I'm gonna show you how to do it, and then the same thing. We're gonna record it on the GoPro, and then I'm gonna walk you through it as the load is unloading. Afternoon, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate okay. it. Let me be right back. All right, let's talk about what you saw there. Okay, so the difference between the fully unleaded one that you saw before was you have to make sure you drop diesel or premium first whenever you are dropping your fuel. All right, so the first thing I did was laid out my cone and my fire extinguisher, which is in front of the truck. Um, there's one there, but there's also one in the truck. Um, <clears throat> so then you lay out the cones and you're gonna mark the diesel with the green, mark the premium with the red, Therefore, you know where unlet it is, so you don't cross contaminate. So the first thing I did was measure my premium, make sure it fit, and then I hooked that premium up, got it going. Then I hooked my unlet it. You're probably gonna ask why that I go under, because this is a chest game. This is gonna be done. This premium is gonna be done before the unlet it, because as you can see, this 
is 3400 and this is 2700 well actually i have 33 in here and um no 32 in here and i have 26 in here so this is going to get done first that way i can walk it put it up and then i can continue to move into the rest of unleaded all right so that's pretty much it man so once this finish dropping we're gonna load it back up and then we're gonna go get the paperwork again and we're gonna call it a day we go head back to the terminal All right, guys, so that was pretty much it when it comes to uh, a day for a tanker. It is pretty simple. I know it went fast. So if you guys have questions, so if you guys have questions, now all of a sudden I can't talk. So if you guys have questions, why do I keep saying questions? I don't know why, but if you guys have questions, oh, my God, now I can't get it out. Oh, my God. If you guys have anything that you would like to ask me. Leave it in the comment section and I will get to it as soon as possible because clearly I cannot talk right now. All right. It's the life in the day of a tanker. I know it was. A, I know it went fast, but I want to make sure I answer all your questions. Go ahead and subscribe if you learned anything. See, I can't talk today. Go ahead and subscribe if you learned anything from this. And, we'll go, and we're going to do more vlogging. I don't know what's wrong with me today, but we're going to do more vlogging. And we're going to answer all the questions during the next vlog as i hit the mic and i'm still gonna put this up here because i'm tired and i don't feel like editing so subscribe like we almost at a we're almost at a thousand subscribers see you guys next time clearly it's time to go to bed